everyone, I want to take you through how to calculate a timber beam and we're going to start with some bending moments and then we're going to go through how to use a, a very simple calculation to decide the size of the timber that you're going to need. So we're going to start with a beam and we're going to assume it's timber and it's supported at both ends so it's a simply supported beam and the bending moments can be worked out by the total load per meter times the length squared over 8. So if we have a load sitting on this timber beam it's a certain number of kilonewtons per meter then that will be our W. Our length will be the length of the beam between the supports and as you can see that's the only two details we need to get the bending moments. So let's say that there are two kilonewtons per meter and that the length is two meters. The bending moments, therefore, are 2 kilonewton per meter times 2, and that's squared all over 8. So 2 squared is 4, 2 times 4 is 8, divided by 8 is 1. 1 kilonewton sorry, one kilonewton meters. And that's the bending moment. So we'll start with a trial size. We might have a stock size of 50 millimeters. That's two inches. by 200 millimetres, which is 8 inches. And we can look at tables that we've got to decide what the geometrical features are of this beam. For example, Z, which is the section modulus, We use that in a bending calculation, and I, which is the second moment of area. Which we use in a deflection calculation. Now for this video we're just going to be looking at this one here, which is the section modulus because we're going to work out the strength of the beam and we're going to leave deflection for another time. So section modulus for a rectangular section is breadth times depth cubed, sorry, squared over 6. And if we want to find out the moment capacity for a beam, it's the allowable stress times the section modulus. So that's the formula we come to. So let's work that out. Moment capacity equals so the allowable stress for C24 timber is 7.5 newtons per millimetre squared times 50 is the breadth times 200 is the depth squared all divided by 6. 
7.5 times 50 times 200 squared divided by 6 equals. If you can see that, that's 2.5 million. Now, 1 kilonewton meter is equal to newton millimeters times 10 to the 6. So it's a million times more. So the answer is 2.5 kilonewton meters. And that strength is greater than the 1 kilonewton meter of load that we applied on it, of moment that we applied on the beam. So that beam is okay.